tuck your toes and sit on your heel on your heels for just a minute. Shoulders over hips, close your eyes, hands on your thighs. Take a deep inhale through your nose, feel your ribs expand. Open your mouth. Ah, take your time, side out. Slowing the breath down in through your nose and out through your mouth. Ah, good, one more breath here, inhale. And exhale, untuck your toes. Tap your feet to your mat with your hands shoulder width apart, fingers spread out wide. Push the floor away to turn on your upper back. So notice your shoulder blades separate, your chest come away from the ground. And we'll tuck the toes again, breathe in. This time hover the knees off the ground. So if your knees are way back here, I want you to step forward to stack them right underneath your hips. We stack joints, which means one on top of the other. Take a breath in, keep this shape with your knees deeply bent. As you exhale, push the ground away. Your hips go way up and back. Drop your head, stay here. Belly to thighs, breathe in. Exhale it out. On your inhale, shift forward back into your hover. So knees off the ground, just an inch, very close to the floor. Still pressing the ground away. Upper back turned on, breathe in, exhale, pressing back into your modified down dog. Belly comes to thighs. Good, inhale, shifting forward, and exhale, hips up and back. One more, inhale, forward, exhale, step into your forearm, or sorry, high plank, top of your push-up. Everything in line from the crown of your head to your shoulders to your hips. Pause for just a moment in that high plank. So grounding with the balls of your feet and your palms. Deep inhale through your nose, just a moment here. Exhale, keep your arms straight, drop your hips for upward facing dog. Your toes can stay tucked, but keep pressing the ground away. So your chest, your shoulder blades are away from your ears. You can untuck your toes, just press the top side of your feet down into the ground. So your knees are off the ground, your quads are engaged. One more breath in through your nose. And exhale, take your first child's pose. Knees out wide, big toes together. Hips all the way down to the floor or on your heels, right? So arms extended, soften your neck and shoulders. So a lot of guys, a lot of times I see folks doing this with their arms. I want you to drop everything, sink into the floor. See how that feels, right? This is your moment to kind of reconnect with your breath. So if at any point you need that through your practice, during your practice, you can always come here to child's pose. And another option for child's pose, knees together, arms by your sides, your spine naturally curving to the ceiling resting your forehead to the ground and just let go soften in the shoulders one more inhale oh. <laughs> exhale side out okay we're gonna move straight into our forearm plank so press up into your tabletop and then ground your forearms down. You're gonna pull the elbows in, but separate the hands. So the tendency is for the elbows to be out here. Let's pull them in, turning on the upper back, fingers and uh, thumbs spread out wide. So just also, uh, yeah, pressing your forearms as well as your palms firmly down into the ground. Long neck and spine, look straight down. Deep inhale, open your mouth, exhale. <sighs> Engaging those quads. So notice my knees aren't down here, right? I'm turning on the quads. The knees are lifted. Heels are pressing back. Deep inhale through your nose. You got this. Exhale, press the heels back just a little bit more to lengthen the back of the leg. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, release your lower body to the ground, but keep pressing down with the forearms to lift the chest, look forward in your sphinx pose. 
So shoulder blades, what, what do I always say? Pull them down away from your ears. And smile, breathe in. Be grateful to have this time for yourself. To just let go of any worries, expectations, wishes, things that you want to control but can't. What if you just let that go and let things be? What if you chose to be right here in this moment? Because this is the most important moment of all. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, slowly releasing the upper body towards the ground. And then place your palms or your fingertips outside the top edge of your mat. Just light pressure down with your hands as you turn on the lower back to lift the chest off the ground. So your nipples are off the ground, your neck is long, looking just six inches ahead of the top edge of your mat. Hold it here, inhale, minimum pressure, minimum weight in your hands. And exhale, release it back down. We'll take the hands right underneath the shoulder joints, tuck the toes. We're gonna turn on those quads, find that plank shape so we can press straight up into that high plank. Feet hips width apart, breathe in through your nose. Exhale, down dog, hips up and back. Drop your head. And on your inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Turning on that left glute. And then we'll open out the hips. So bend that left knee, open it up, stack it on top, stack the left hip on top of the right. Keep that knee lifted nice and high. Notice your glutes working to keep that leg up there. And then you have the option to come all the way around into a wild thing. So your left foot is coming into the floor. As you come all the way around, your right palm still grounding down, right shoulder stacked right over the wrist. Squeeze the glutes, lifting the hips up nice and high. Breathe in through your nose. Keep that right leg long and straight. We're gonna Keep the right arm long, pushing the floor away, but dropping the hips towards the floor as the left elbow comes towards your navel. Inhale to press back up, squeeze those glutes. Exhale with control, coming back down. One more inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and come back around. For your down dog, drop your head. Inhale, right leg goes high. Turn on that glute. Just let the left heel, that's the one on the floor, drop all the way down to the mat. But keep that right glute turned on to lift the leg. We're gonna bend the right knee, open out that hip. Keep the arms straight, stacking the right hip on top of the left. And you have the option to come all the way around for a wild thing. Your right, fo uh, right foot makes it to the ground. Squeeze your glutes to press the hips straight up to the sky. You can rotate that top arm, that loose arm. Loosening up the shoulder joint. Breathe in. Keep that left leg straight as we exhale with control. Releasing the hips towards the ground. Inhale back up. Exhale back down. Inhale up and exhale. Take the right palm back to the floor. For your downward dog, release the head. Nod your head, yes and no. Inhale back to your high plank and exhale. Make it down to your forearms. For forearm plank, we'll hold here for one breath. Inhale, stay here, exhale. Your left hand comes towards your right elbow. We're gonna open up the right side for a side forearm plank. Lifting the hips as high as you can get them. You have the option to stack the, the feet or stagger them. For extra credit, you can bend that right knee, press the foot into the inside of the leg, squeezing that left, that left glute to lift the hips nice and high. Remember to lift 
your chest away from the ground. So pressing that left uh, forearm into the floor, breathe in. And we'll work the core here, dropping the hips towards the floor. Inhale, lifting nice and high. Four more, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. You have the option to take that right foot and place it to the ground to give you a little more support if you need it. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale. Come around to your forearm plank here for just a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm comes to your left elbow to open up the left side. Take your option. Either that left foot comes forward or you place the left foot stack in on top of the right or stagger for a little more balanced support wherever you are take an inhale lift those hips and exhale with control down towards the floor keep pressing the floor away with that right forearm inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down two more inhale up Exhale down, one more inhale up. And exhale, come back around to your forearm. Plank, feet hips width apart. Elbows pulled in, hands pressing down. You got this, one more inhale. Exhale, come on down to your knees. Good. We're gonna stand on the knees and turn to face the long edge of the mat. Extend your left leg out long by your side, rotating the ankle to press the foot down into the ground for support. Shoulders over hips, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, side bend over that left leg. So squeezing the left obliques. We're extending towards that left, that extended leg, right? Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, side out. You have the option to gently pull your torso towards that leg but try not to fall forward. We're focusing on that side bend, getting that stretch on the right side. Feel the ribs expand, breathe in. Exhale it out. Inhale, come back up to center. Keep the legs where they are. Exhale, right palm comes all the way into the ground. Good, still pressing down with the left foot. Begin to lift your left side up towards the sky. So. It's a little more of an engagement of your side body. Squeezing the right obliques. And on your inhale, lift the left leg if you would like to take that option. Otherwise, stay here. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, side out. Couple more breaths. If you have that leg lifted parallel to the floor, bend the left knee. That's option three. Um, grabbing onto the foot and squeezing that left glute to press the knee back behind the hips. Still grounding with that right palm. Peel that left shoulder open, breathe in. One more inhale. And exhale, release it down. We're gonna step forward with that left foot for our low lunge, inhale, arms overhead. Grounding down with that left foot and exhale. Take a back bend. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, release your hands. We'll take a crescent lunge, so tuck the back toes. Nice distance, good, a good long stance between the feet. And then also your feet are hips distance apart, so check that spacing out. You may have to shift the left foot over to the left or maybe even forwards just to keep that knee stacked right over the ankle we don't want it going way past high on the balls of your back foot that that back leg is long as you inhale lifting off for crescent lunge you can extend your arms straight up to the sky softening your shoulders down your back take another breath in and exhale it out Option to take your side bends here. Only if you feel grounded.
One more inhale. And exhale, release it down. You can release that right knee and then straighten the left leg, flexing the foot, getting that stretch in that left hamstring. This is you hinge forward from your hips. Nice flat back, breathe in. Exhale it out. Just a little bit deeper. Yeah, so as you hinge forward, yes, you get more of a stretch in that hamstring. That's a good thing. Find that space in your body. One more breath in. And exhale, release it down with that left foot. We'll do the same on the other side. So coming back to standing on your le uh, standing on your knees, extend the right leg out this time. Pressing the foot down into the ground, inhale. Arms go vertical. Exhale, side bending towards that extended leg. Foot pressing down, squeezing the right obliques and getting that stretch on the left side option to grab onto the extended leg and gently pull towards. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. Good, inhale. Back to center, keep the legs where they are. Left palm comes by your side. Pressing the ground away. So stack that right shoulder to or left shoulder right over the wrist. Your right arm extends straight up to the sky. Press that right foot down, but lift your right ribs up towards the ceiling, really engaging in the torso. Breathe in. Exhale. And on your inhale, you have that option to raise the right leg. If you did it on the other side, do it here, try it out. Right leg parallel to the ground, grounding down with that left palm, fingers spread out wide. And if that leg is lifted, option to bend the right knee. Grab onto the foot and kick it into your hand. Peeling open that right shoulder. Squeeze that glute, press the knee back behind the hips. Full breath in. Stay here, side out. One more inhale. And on your exhale, step that right foot forward for low lunge. So checking out the legs, right? We're gonna stack the knee right over the ankle. Legs, hips width apart, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, take your back bend. Inhale, back to center. And exhale. Release your, uh, release your hands, we'll tuck the back toes leg nice and long, setting up for a crescent lunge. As you're ready, inhale, lift your torso, shoulders over hips. So if you need a moment to, uh, if you need a, one more step before crescent lunge to get into it, you can start here with your hands on the ground, then place your hands on that right quad, still leaning forward, and then inhale as you're ready. Extend the arms overhead, soften in the shoulders, breathe in. Exhale it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Release that left knee down to the ground, straighten your right leg. Flexing your right foot and hinge from your hips, flat back. Yes, hamstring stretch. You can also grab onto the foot. to keep it flexed. Stay another couple breaths in through your nose and exhale out. If you have a block, you can always use that for a little balance to give you a little more distance from the floor if your arms are not as long as mine. One more breath in. Exhale, bend into that right foot. Good. And then back to your knees. I definitely recommend a nice thick mat like this. It's from a company called Hatha Yoga. So it's thick like a foam mat, but it's designed specifically for yoga. Some of those foam mats are actually not for yoga because they will stretch on you and you may fall. So we don't want that. <laughs> I encourage that um, to find a thick mat, especially if you're gonna be working 
doing your yoga practice outside somewhere on a uneven surface. So on your next inhale, tuck your toes. Sit on your heels for a moment, take a breath in. Exhale it out. But challenge yourself without using your hands. Keep your heels, or hips on your heels, lift your knees parallel um, with your hips quads parallel to the ground chest keep your chest up and on your inhale push the floor away with the balls of your feet to stand all the way up we're still facing the long edge of the mat separate your feet out wide inhale extend your arms out breathe in and exhale hinge from your hips palms come to the floor shoulder width apart separate your feet out as wide as you can go so maybe with an every breath, your feet separate just a little bit more to deepen out that inner thigh stretch. Keep pressing down with your palms. Once again, turning on that upper back, shoulder blades separate, long neck. Keep that breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out. Can you separate your feet just another half inch? We'll stay here, three more breaths. And notice if you might be guarding in the inner thigh just a little bit. Deep breath in. Good. On your inhale, you can start to work your feet closer in together, but still out wide. Inhale, lift your torso all the way back up, extending your arms vertical, and we'll make big circles with the hips. So breathe in. Exhale, turn to face your left side while dropping all the way down. Your head drops in the middle. Inhale, facing your right side. And exhale, dropping over your left. Inhale to the right. We'll change direction. So turn to face the right side on your exhale, drop your head. Inhale, coming up to the left. Exhale, down. Inhale, back up. Good. You can take your hands to your hips, shorten your stance just a bit. We'll point the toes outward slightly and bend into that left knee. So keeping your chest up, kind of like we're doing a squat. You can take your hands to the floor or a block, just getting that a slightly deeper inner thigh stretch on the right side. Maybe your hips come all the way to the floor. Breathe in and switch it out. Rotating that right foot out, extending that left leg nice and long. You can flex the foot if you like or have it down to the ground. How low can you go with the hips but keep your chest up? Inhale all the way back up. We'll take a spinal twist. So we're gonna bring the feet a little bit closer together. Stack the knees right over the ankles, pointing the toes out in opposite directions. Uh, the base of your palm to the top of your quads. Breathe in, exhale, drop your left shoulder. Look over your right. Hips low. Inhale back to center and exhale. Drop your right shoulder looking over your left. Pressing that right inner thigh open with your palm. Inhale back to center. 
rising up, extending the legs. Good, shake it out. You can come all the way back down to your knees. And we'll take a couple of restorative postures. So separate your feet out wide, the width of your mat, all the way to the edges. Knees out wide, making space for your hips to come all the way to the ground. And then you can place your palms to the floor behind you. Open out your chest. Yeah. Breathe in. Oh, sorry it out. Good, so that's option one. Option two is to come onto your forearms. And as I say, if this, if this pose is not for you at all, don't do it. Maybe you can come into child's pose or something else that is better for you. Breathe in. Option three, take the top of your head or your shoulders all the way to the mat. Stay a few breaths. Oh. On your inhale, start to press back up to your seat. And then take your feet to one side for Figure four, stretch. Place your feet hips width apart and bring your heels in towards your hips. Reclining all the way down. Take your left ankle to your right thigh. And with your left hand extending up to the sky, press that left knee open. And then with both hands, grab onto your right hamstring. So reach in with that left hand between the legs, grabbing onto the leg and pulling that shape in gently. If it hurts, don't do it. But with every exhale, can you bring that shape in just a bit more? Two more breaths. release it back down. We'll take the right ankle to the left thigh, push the knee away, open the hip out for a moment. So that's the goal, right? To open that hip. Extending, uh, reaching down with both hands, grabbing onto the left hamstring. Pull that shape in. Soften in your shoulders. Just focus your attention on that figure four stretch. Deep breath in. Oh, there's one more breath. We'll uncross the legs and finish out with our inversion. So pull the knees in towards your chest and then elbows in by your sides. We'll press the, knee, the elbows into the floor, take your palms to your hips, lifting them off the ground, walking your palms to, lo to your low back. Your hips go high, knees outside your ears. You can stay here or extend your legs straight up to the sky, ankles over knees, knees over hips. Full breath in, full exhale out. Stay here and breathe. Good. 
So you can stay here or keep your legs straight, take them overhead for plow pose, hips stay high. One more breath. You can bend your knees outside your ears and slowly release all the way down for extra credit. Do your double pigeon. So we're stacking the shins one over the other. So that top ankle, place it right on top of the opposite knee and take your time. So maybe this is where you are, right? The other. The top knee is kind of high away from the ground. You're, it's not a quick pose to get into. You're just taking your time, breathing in, opening that hip out just a little bit more. So lean into it. You can take your hands forward. You can also frame the foot and knee with both hands to keep them stable. So solid breath. Ah, uh, side out. If you're in Atlanta, you should check out the new West Side Park. It's uh, still developing, but there's uh, some cool space here um, to do some yoga, throw a frisbee, um, bring the kids to the playground if you have them, I guess. Um, maybe go for a jog. I suppose you could ride your bike. It is a little bit hilly the paths for biking, but um, it could be done. A couple more breaths on this side. or however long it takes to get that knee down to the foot. <laughs> I'm still not there. I blame this uneven ground, <laughs> but that's not really it. I just need to do this every day, right? One more breath. Oh, there we are. And switch it out. Stack the other ankle on top of the knee. Shins are stacked. Breathe in. Exhale, leaning into it, framing the feet if that helps to keep the shape that you want. So it, this kind of keeps me from, from this, it keeps my foot from gliding over that way and then I kind of lose the work. So I'm trying to stay in it, but no rush, keep that breath.
Take your time, breathe into it. One more breath. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uncross the legs. Windshield wiper the legs left and right. Oh. So, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Extend one leg, extend the other. Thank you guys. Thank you for following on YouTube. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.